But look. It's worth it, guys. So, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, this is a place where I always shoot. And a lot of people have been like, I made the mistake of telling a lot of people about it. And so everyone kind of blew it out. And now I get kicked out every time I come. But we're gonna try and get some photos real quick. I quick wanted to make a vlog about my camera setup and how I usually take photos because I get a lot of people that ask me questions and I'm really passionate about photography and especially car photography. So uh, basically I'm using a Canon EOS M3 mirrorless camera and my lens setup is 11 to 22 millimeter lens and so it gives it like a wide kind of like a wide peripheral. So I'm able to get really close to the car and it covers a lot of ground. Which is why I also use it for vlogging because I can have it close to me and it covers a lot of area. The mic that I use is just a Rode, it's a Rode uh, mobile mic or something. It's like the cheap one, but it works great. This spot is awesome, but everyone, everyone has been coming. And like, so I can, I get in here and like within like 10, 15 minutes, they come and kick me out but I've been here for about 20 minutes. So, I think I'm getting lucky. I think I'm getting lucky, but you guys, what I usually do when I have the car like this, I like to try and get low. Like you can already tell. And then I always, I always turn the wheel a little bit. I like to get low and like the great thing about this camera is when you set it all the way on the ground and it's pointing up, it looks so good. Like it gives you so much room to work with. It gives you so much room to work with in the photo, which I think is really important. A lot of the keys to photography are A, getting a good shot with like a decent camera, B, the location, but also Lightroom. Like I love editing in Lightroom. Lightroom, Lightroom is such a powerful editing software. So I always use that to like doctor up my photos when I'm done. So right now I'm on black wheels, as you guys probably know, and I'm actually switching to likely gunmetal wheels, uh, just so they're a little more like photogenic. So I just think that the gunmetal wheels were, will be a little bit easier for photography. Parking structures are awesome because usually there's not much security there and you can always get like crazy eclectic shots in parking garages because you can play with all the light and like during the day you have coverage obviously, like shade coverage. Cloudy days are actually like the best days for photos because the sun is really hard to work with, but it looks awesome. If you have carbon fiber parts, like the sun beaming off the carbon fiber, yes. So it's interesting because I've also noticed that, you know, I post like two or three photos per day to my Instagram and I kind of like track which ones do better. When you do like the really close up photos of your carbon fiber parts or just very detailed, like crisp close photos, those seem to get more traction than just step away photos of the entire car. I've been trying to like focus a little more on like close up detailed shots, but at the same time, mix in a little bit of everything. I always find that stuff interesting, what photos grab hold better on like Instagram and social media and why, why do they hold better or why do people gravitate towards them more? And I think that a lot of the closer up photos leave a lot of wonder for what's happening with the rest of the car because there's so much more detail in them. Photography and like automotive photography specifically has become a huge passion of mine, a super fun hobby that um, I'm just trying to get better and better at. It's kind of my spiel when it comes to working with uh, camera light and like angles with the car. I always find that corner angles always work best. You know, like that, that always looks better. This is a cool photo because you see how the sun is coming through right here. So you get this like really cool glare and I try to get the camera down just so there's enough detail in the car, and then I still have this like really dope glare coming in. So I find those kind of things really interesting. So now we're working with the sun hitting the car, which just doesn't come off as well as the other angle. And then you have like this angle, 
eh, not so great because of the shade, but that angle, obviously, I mean, look at that. That's a great shot with those clouds in the background. Here, I'll show you guys the edited version of this. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on my photography setup, my camera, and like the gear I'm using, how I like to approach photos with my car. And I don't know, maybe you guys can take it into consideration. Maybe it'll help you. I'm gonna put links down below to where I bought my camera and my microphone and my lens and everything. If you guys are interested in doing like an uh, EOS M3 mirrorless setup, you can buy there. And honestly, for the money, people spend like thousands and thousands of dollars on camera gear. And this was not thousands and thousands of dollars, but I think the end result speaks for itself. It's pretty good. But I also think it's really important for people to understand that like really good photos for your Instagram make a huge difference. I can tell right away if people are taking photos with their iPhone or with an actual camera, like an actual decent setup camera with like a nice lens it always stands out and it always looks way better, especially if you're consistent with your Instagram feed. You want that to be a collective brand, so it's important to keep everything quality, consistent, and clean. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you a couple tips on how I use my camera and how I shoot things and the setup and all that. But we have a bunch of stuff coming up this week. I got some installs and I have some DIYs and obviously some more Beamer code. You know, it's Sunday. It's like 65 degrees out, so I'm just trying to get out here and enjoy the day. Um, Anyways guys, that's it. Short video for today. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please do comment, like this video, hit that bell notification, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.